on, and I thought, I mean, I guess this is just what life is going to continue on doing. But I decided that I was worth more than this. I was not going to be the struggle of my past, of my parents, of my future. I found it worth, and I didn't know what it was that something pulled me to this business. He looked at me like I was the biggest idiot in the whole entire world. But I did it anyways, because I'm not going to let anybody stop me from staying home with my son. Two years ago, I was a Ruby sitting at, where are the Rubies at? Two years ago, I was a Ruby sitting at my house, watching on YouTube conference, hating my life, watching Melody and all of these amazing leaders talk about their lives. And I looked at him and I said, someday I'm going to do that. He's like, be good. <laughs> okay, last year we made it to our first conference. I met Mark in the VIP section and I said, Hi Mark, I'm Jane, I'm a presidential diamond. He's like, You're a presidential diamond? I don't know who you are. And I said, You're going to know who I am. Right. And he does. He knows who I am. There is not a single one of you out there that cannot be on this stage. I suffer from anxiety. No excuse that was going to keep me from being with my son. And then it turned into me being with my husband. Last night, two nights ago, we were on Instagram, and him and I were getting ready to get ready to board the plane. And we were on Instagram, and he was helping me work it. And my husband saw this video of this little girl, and she was crying on the floor, saying, I miss my daddy. I want him to be home. Like just saying her little song. And I looked over at him, and he busted out in tears. And I said to him, why are you crying? Every guy deserves to be home, so every guy out there, support your significant other. And 